I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw John Muir. He was the father of our national park system. I'm going to take two fingers right in the center and underneath I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot going towards the left, I'm going to draw a curve line down, curve line out, and leave it floating. I come back up to the dot and now going towards the right, I'm just going to draw a wavy line, wavy line, straight line, curve line down, and leave it floating. I come back on the inside, right up here at the dot, and I'm just going to draw another wavy line down, up, and connect. Come over here on the right hand side, and I'm just going to draw a wavy line out, up, down, and connect. I come back to the dot. Now I'm going to draw a wavy, wavy line out, out, in, connect. And right about here, midpoint, I put a dot. And right there on that dot, I'm going to draw a wavy line down and out and leave it floating. Come back up here on this space and draw a wavy line down, out, up. Keep going and connect. I come inside and on the left, I draw a curved line. Jump over on the right, draw another curved line. Come back to the left, draw a curve line, curve line down, up, connect. Come on the right, curve line, curve line down, up, connect. Right in the center, I draw a, set, a straight diagonal, little curve, and leave it floating. Okay. Come straight down, and let's put a dot. And now, going towards the left, we're just going to draw a wavy, wavy line down, up, starting at the dot again, wavy line out on the right, down, up, connect. Right about here underneath, just a curved line up, over, connect. Now, come over here on the left, we're just going to draw a curved line down to the left of our page, come on the right. Curve line down, out on the right hand side. Come back to the left and we're just going to draw a curve line in, curve line down off the page. Come on the right hand side, we're going to draw a curve line out, in, out, down, off the page. Come right about here on the left and just draw a curve line down on the left. Come over here on the right. And let's draw right here a curve line down. Right here, baby circle. Now we're just going to draw one curve line, jump over, another curve line, come up a little bit, big curve line off the page. Okay, now come back up to the dot, and we're just going to draw a wavy line down, connect. And I think that's it. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, we're going to do a lot of double coloring. So, with my brown, I have one color brown, I'm going to loop-de-loop -loop his hair. This is his hair. On the right, this is his hair on the left. And this is mainly so I can see what I'm doing. Then, I'm going to loop-de-loop -loop his eyebrows. Loop-de-loop his eyebrow. Here's his mustache. Put that first layer of color, loop-de-loop. -loop. And then he has this incredible beard. This huge beard, which was very stylish back in the day. So I'm going to loop-de-loop -loop all of this. It comes all the way up by the mustache, right underneath his lip. Just a huge beard. It's his most distinguishing feature. So I'm going to do that all with my first color of brown. Then, I could not for the life of me tell what color his eyes were. So I'm going to do blue on the inside, and this is another double color trick. Over the blue, I'm going to do brown. 
so he's got kind of hazel eyes. I'm not exactly sure what they were, but we'll give him a little bit of color that way. Next, I'm going to take my peach or my apricot and I am going to color in his face. Now, if you don't have peach, you don't have apricot, you can use pink because I think he was could have been a very pink man or you could use your brown just color lightly. Now see how this all looks like the same color? That's why we need to double color. So now with my regular brown I'm going to give another loop-de-loop -loop over his eyebrows, his hair, and his magnificent beard. Oops, don't forget the mustache. Now I come bring the brown, the darker brown up, over, up, down, over. You'll do a better job than me. I gotta get this all colored in. Now he's starting to look a little more like himself. Okay. Then just to make sure you can see what we're doing, I'm going to take black. Use your black sparingly. Don't use a lot of black so much that you lose your browns. But go ahead and use some black to go over at the very last your double color. So now we've got a triple color. And again, this is just so that all of these hair features, because you've got a lot of hair, all these hair features kind of jump out at you. Not in a bad way, in a good way. So we're just going to add that one last little part of brown. I mean black. Hello. To his beard, his mustache, and his hair. Okay? Alright. Now what I did was, again, double coloring. Um, because he was a conservationist, which is taking care of the forests and natural lands. I took my yellow green and did his shirt yellow green. And then I did his jacket regular green. Because I want him to look like he's an environmentalist, a conservationist, taking care of our land. So I go ahead and do the, this is his jacket, this space color that in. Then to kind of give it that woodsy, woodsy look, once again I'm going to take my my brown and lightly go over his green of his jacket. Just so it looks a little woodsy. Okay? Bring it all the way up. I'm going to color his leather strap right here brown. And I'm going to leave his button white. Okay? Then, because he was outdoors, I'm just going to take my big blue, blue-green, and just draw some background stripes. I was thinking of doing it. You could do a whole landscape behind him. You know, maybe the sequoias or certain parts of California. But we'll just leave it here, like this. Okay. Let's see what he looks like all colored in. Okay, here is John Muir all colored in. He co-founded the Sierra Club and he brought national attention of the importance of nature preservation. Okay, bye-bye.